this is Bucky's Convenience Store in Terrell, Texas. One of the largest convenience stores on the planet. We're on our way to Dealey Plaza in downtown Dallas. Look at all these gas pumps. November 22nd, 1963. Lee Harvey Oswald fired three shots out of the school book depository, hitting the president twice and missing him once. This is Dealey Plaza, and we're going to take a tour today of the plaza. Hey guys, my name is Patrick. We're standing right here, right in front of the school book depository. If you're looking up, it's going to be the second window from the top. You'll see a small box there in the window. And the reason why the box is there, there's actually a live webcam there. Now, that's where Lee Harvey Oswald was in Legend, second window from the top. Okay, the only difference between then and now, if you look down at the very ground floor, all the windows on the bottom floor is all bricked up. See the difference here? People ask about that tree tree back then was real small. See the difference here? So let me show you what Oswald saw looking out of the window so you'll see that he did have a clear shot. That's the view from the window. That's the top of that tree. Photo right here to the right. You notice you see a lot of boxes. So when he was up there, he put boxes out around himself. He gets up in between here. This is the one that you see simulated in the window. Okay. Now let me show you the motorcade route. If you look behind us, the motorcade comes down Main Street in between the castle and this red brick building. The original route is the motorcade was supposed to end right here in Main Houston and keep straight down the center line. But the route would change. So he makes this right heading straight toward the school book depository building. So when the president gets this corner, he makes the left hand turn. As soon as he makes the left hand turn, will be the first shot. In between the column and the tree. Right there. First shot is actually a missed shot. That's when you see the Secret Service look back. They said they thought it was a motorcycle backfiring, so they didn't cover him. Right here. So the motorcade proceeds on down the hill. If you notice, this overhead street sign was not here this was added since then okay a car goes on down walk down here i'm gonna show you exactly where the president was allegedly uh, shot at and you're gonna see two x's right here in the middle of the street these are not the official official mark this is where people think that exactly happened we're not for sure that where the car was right here this is gonna be the second shot that's the one that hits him in the back. Exits out of his strokes. Throat here. The same bullet proceeds on through Governor Conley, who's in the front seat of the car. That's known as the magic bullet theory. One shot was made seven different wounds. Up, out, blah, 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 goes through Conley. Scientifically says to keep straight through. You go down a little farther. If you notice there's two guys there looking down at a plaque. That marks the official fatal shot. Right behind him, there's an X in the middle of the street. It's gonna be the second and the third shot. Back and to the left, back and to the left. When you see Mrs. Kennedy grabs him like she's gonna jump out of the back of the car. Okay, if you go down past, you see two guys down there. 
right behind them, there's a handrail down there. Some steps in front of it. If you go up those steps, you will be at the grassy knoll. This is where some people believe that could have been another shooter. Not proven, but theory has it. it should be right here. Grassy knoll. Now the fence is in the same location, same height, but it's not the same fence. If you look up, I don't know if you can see it or not, right behind that white wall, you see some section of the fence. In That's the grassy knoll. So this kind of quick, short version of it. Oh, well, thank you very much. Right. I really appreciate All right. All right. it. Thank you. When you guys get to Dallas, look me up. My name is Patrick, and I can give you some information. Maybe I can help you out on the ZLK tour. Uh, you probably can tell me something. When are, when are you out here? I just come down here in the evening time. And uh, I just like talking to people. Oh, okay. Give them the theory. But most people already have their theory anyway, so pretty much just listen. Oh, okay. right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, uh -huh. This is the railroad line that goes over the underpass. And if you walk down here, you'll see the road, Elm Street. Where they were watching the parade. And you see the fence that goes alongside of it. And they have graffiti written all over here. And this, we're coming up now upon the fence. This is the fence area. And the X in the middle of the road shows where the president was shot. And the trees have grown since then. And behind the fence is a huge parking lot. And this is the memorial area back here. They have a plaque here which is an excerpt from the speech that President Kennedy was to deliver at the Dallas Trade Mart on November 22nd, 1963. This is the spot where Dallas dressmaker Abraham Zabruder stood on top of this pedestal with his receptionist Marilyn Sitzman standing behind to steady him. He was standing here, and this was his view. Dealey Plaza is a National Historic Landmark from 1993. And that's where Abraham Zapruder filmed the presidential motorcade. This is the famous underpass.
and you can see Reunion Tower off to the side. This is the famous uh, Texas School Book Depository, which is now the Dallas County Administration Building. And we're looking up at the sixth floor window. Dealey Plaza, birthplace of Dallas. The old Red Museum is right across the street from the memorials. This is George Bannerman Daly, 1859 to 1946. The motorcade came down Houston Street and turned left at the Texas School Book Depository. There's a train going over the underpass. About a block away is the JFK Memorial Plaza. Thanks for watching.